This week I'll show you how to use a neutral density filter to make a very busy freeway look like it's totally deserted. Adorama TV presents Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -one, where we answer your questions. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to this episode of Digital Photography One-on-One. -on -one. Well, we've been getting a lot of questions about uh, filters to put on your camera, and so we're going to start with a question that comes from Paul from Jersey City, New Jersey. And Paul asked, I've heard that you can use something called a neutral density filter to remove moving objects in bright sunlight. Can you explain this to us? Well, Paul, let's talk about it. So a neutral density filter or an ND filter looks something like this. Now there's a couple of flavors. You can get one like this, and this is made by Hoya, and it actually just screws on to the end of the lens. So I can just screw it on here to the end of my uh, lens. And uh, there's another kind of filter, also a neutral density filter, that uh, goes into a frame, so it sort of slides on the end of your lens. But both of them do the exact same thing, and that is they're sort of like fancy sunglasses for your lens. In other words, they uh, reduce the amount of light that's coming into the camera either by one stop or two stops or four stops or this one here actually goes all the way to nine stops. Now there's all different flavors of neutral density filters and we're going to talk more about ND filters in a future episode of Digital Photography One on One. But in this episode I want to show you what this one here will do and this one is going to allow us to stop the light down by nine stops which is going to make it really really dark inside our camera in fact, it's going to be so dark that even in bright sunlight, we can use really slow shutter speeds. And those slow shutter speeds mean that anything that's moving are actually going to disappear from the scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Canon 5D Mark II and my Hoya ND, uh, this nine-stop ND filter. We're going to go down to I-10 here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's a very, very busy freeway. And I'll show you that just by using this ND filter, I can close down my aperture and slow down my shutter speed so much that all the cars on the freeway essentially just disappear. So let's go down to the freeway and I'll show you how this all works. Well, I'm on an overpass right over I-10 in Phoenix, Arizona. It's an extremely busy freeway. You can hear the cars going all over the place. But what I wanna do is make it look like there are no cars at all on the freeway. Now I could try shooting this when there's just no traffic, but in this environment, it's always a lot of traffic. So what I've done is I've put my neutral density filter on the end of my lens. I've set this in manual mode, so I have this stopped all the way down to F22, and that gives me a 10 second exposure, even in this bright sunlight. So let me take a photo really fast. I've already focused this, I've already metered everything, and I've set the shot here. This is gonna go for about 10 seconds, and with these cars going by, because they aren't in the scene long enough, they're not even gonna show up. So let's take a look here, and you can see that it looks like it's a completely deserted freeway. It's pretty cool. I'm going to wait till this truck goes by here so you can hear what I'm saying. Now the, the key to this is sometimes if you have large buses or trucks, they will show up in the frame. So you got to sort of shoot a few of these uh, and try to get them with a lot of cars which are smaller that are moving faster instead of those big trucks so you don't get any mo motion blur. And you can turn this busy freeway into an absolutely deserted street. So I'm going to shoot a few more and then let's take a look at the results. All right, you can see that we got some really interesting results. I'm gonna put my lens hood back on my lens here. Well, before I do that, let me just show you. I have this neutral density filter here that is so dark, it looks like it's pitch black when I'm looking through the lens, and that's really what I want. Now, I can take that off. Do that really quickly here. And you can see that it is really, really dark. In fact, I'll do that. You can see it just goes pitch black on the lens. So let me put that back on there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this one more time, but this time, we're gonna turn around here so you can see behind me that there is a road that's really busy. In fact, turn this right, Matt. There's cars and stuff coming all the time. So I'm gonna to try to take a picture of this road that always has cars and show you that we can make it be deserted as well. So let me set up and we'll take some shots of this and we'll show you the same results. All right, well, I'm about to shoot, but I'm gonna wait. Those trucks over there, they're just stopped still. So if I shoot right now, I'm gonna have trucks in my shot. So I'm gonna wait until that light turns green and then I'll take a shot and I'll show you how that looks. And then we'll take some shots like, I'll shoot one right now. And you'll see that the guys that are going by me, they won't even show up in the photo. We'll just have that Pepsi truck over there in the shot. So this is going for about 10 seconds. Once it's done, we'll take a look and you can see that we have those trucks, but nothing else on the road. 
In fact, it looks totally deserted. It's really cool. Let me take a few more and we'll see if we can get a completely deserted scene right here in this very busy intersection. So I'll let the Pepsi truck go by. We'll try again. All right, I'm gonna click my shutter right now. It's going, cars are moving. It's a bunch of cars coming up. Hopefully we've got it at the right time. Excellent, looks really good. All right, let's go back to the studio so you can hear me. We'll talk a little bit more about using an extreme neutral density filter to get all kinds of really interesting results. Well, as you can see out there in the crazy interstate with all those cars and all that stuff moving around, just by using a really extreme neutral density filter. Now, again, this one is a Hoya NDX 400. It's a nine stop neutral density filter. I was able to shoot with such slow shutter speeds that all of those things that were moving just virtually el were eliminated. Now, if you look really closely at those photos, you can see that if there's a car or a truck that has maybe some chrome or some headlights, it still shows up. And so what you may need to do to get everything completely removed, if it's important to you, is to get a couple of these guys and stack them so that you can get extremely slow shutter speeds of maybe even a few minutes. And that's possible by using multiple neutral density filters. Now, a more practical example of this technique may be if uh, you're a, an architectural photographer or maybe you're doing some work for an improvement project where you need to show an intersection before so that there can be some renderings or maybe an outside of a building and you're just getting cars, then you can never get that time where it's completely empty. Well, just pop a neutral density filter on the front of your lens shoot with an extremely slow shutter speed and then you can sort of emulate what it would look like when there aren't any cars or people in the scene. Now another thing that's really fun to do with a neutral density filter like this is to shoot indoors because you can take things like uh, a museum or a very busy place with lots of people moving around a ball field something like that and you can shoot again with really really slow shutter speeds using a tripod and then you can make all those things that are moving disappear so it looks like the museum is empty or the ball field there's nobody on the, the playing field etc so there's all kinds of fun things you can do using an extreme neutral density filter like this one and not only that but the ndx 400 like this you can actually use this to shoot uh, things like an eclipse or shoot toward the sun and so some people have written in asking how they can point their cameras at the sun without damaging their camera or their eyes well if you have something like this an ndx 400 you can actually do that and so that's what this is used for. Now there's all kinds of different neutral density filters. There's graduated neutral density filters and horizontals and kinds that you can rotate. We're gonna be talking about those in future episodes of Digital Photography One-on-One -on -one because they apply to different principles like scenic photography and other things. And also you can use neutral density filters to uh, shoot with a wide open aperture to get shallow depth of field even in a bright sunny day. So that will be coming in a future episode as well. Well, thanks so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you're like Paul and you've got a question about photography, you can send your questions to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. And this technique, it's, it's called, uh, sorry. That's horrible, isn't it? Speed. Yeah, it's still horrible. Digital Photography One-on-One -on -one is written and produced by Snap Factory. For more information about our workshops, visit snapfactory.com.